Good morning, friends. We're just starting today's full day of food with breakfast. I just made a pot of oatmeal. I did put some of these raisins in there too. And often the kids will sprinkle some raisins in their oatmeal like after it's been served. But then sometimes we just cook it in. So today I just put a couple handfuls in while the oatmeal was cooking. As you can see, it's steaming. It's very hot. The kids will each put brown sugar into theirs. And that is breakfast for the kids today. I'll show you a little bit later. I'm gonna have something different. So I just made my smoothie. I think you mostly saw what was in it. I filmed as I was putting this together, but it's almond milk and cottage cheese. I put a little bit of whipping cream in it today. I have some leftover whipping cream uh, in the fridge. And so I like putting just a little spoonful of that in my smoothie, frozen strawberries, my whey vanilla protein powder, and then um, collagen, a scoop of collagen powder too. I actually am like, just about done my vanilla protein powder. I think I have less than a scoop left. And so yesterday I ordered some more from Amazon. That should be arriving. I don't remember if it was today or tomorrow. But instead of my sweetened vanilla flavored protein powder, I ordered just an unflavored protein powder. I've never used unflavored protein powder. I think in this smoothie with like the berries and everything, it'll be, I don't, I don't know how much of a difference I'll notice. I was gonna say I don't think I'll notice much of a difference, but that's not true because it's not sweetened. What I'm using right now is sweetened. But I'm curious to try that out. We'll see how that is. So I'm just gonna have my smoothie. I did get started on my breakfast a little bit later than I typically do, and so I was teaching one of the kids a piano lesson. Wanted to get that in before we started school, and so I poured myself a coffee for while I was teaching. Um, usually I have my breakfast, have my coffee after. We did things backwards today, but this is just um, regular. I make coffee in our drip coffee maker. Well, usually Andrew makes it, so that's nice. I get up in the morning, coffee's all ready to go. Uh, poured myself a coffee. I just put a little cream in there, and welcome to today's full day of food. That's my breakfast and I'll take you guys along throughout the day and you can see what I make for our family to eat in a day. I'm just cracking all of our windows open because it's such a nice warm day. We're gonna get some fresh air and my camera is, something's on there. Probably food because the amount of time I spend <laughs> filming meal prep with this camera, sometimes it gets a little messy. Um, not lunchtime yet, but we have just been having snacks this morning. It's like 1045. Okay, we've been having snacks. Not really. The kids finished up kind of their first couple of subjects, and then I just tell them that they can come and grab a snack, uh, grab a fruit. That's usually what we have. If we're out of fruit, which sometimes happens because you guys, I buy fruit. It disappears. Like, so, it disappears so fast. Um, so if we're out of fruit, sometimes the kids will snack on nuts or just something, just really, really small snack. Cause I want everyone to be hungry for lunch again, but sometimes they do get snacky in the middle of the morning. So typically it's apples, bananas, orange, something out of the fruit basket. So I think each of the kids took an apple this morning because apples I would say is their favorite. They'll pick apples every time if they can. I also have my nephew over this week. So if you hear little baby babbles in the background, <laughs> he is sitting down and eating some goldfish. Um, so we have an extra, extra little mouth to feed this week too. Some of the kids like to eat their apples whole. Some slice them up and then I get left with <laughs> apple cores on the counter. Um, I picked these this morning, our first garden harvest, this asparagus. This obviously isn't enough for a full meal. At the very beginning when the asparagus gets ripe, um, 
I just have like, you know, a few at a time. My very favorite way to eat asparagus is roasted, but obviously I'm not gonna roast three asparagus. So what I do when I just have a very small batch like this is I just chop them up and fry them up with scrambled eggs. So kind of like how you would do peppers or onions with an omelet, an, an omelet, an omelet. I just do the same thing with asparagus. So I'm gonna chop that up and make a little omelet to go with our lunch today. And also this bread, I feel like I show cinnamon raisin bread so often. Um, I was going to say, yeah, it's your favorite. I was going to say, if you guys are sick and tired of it, sorry, we are not sick and tired of it. I make this bread every single week. Um, as well as I make regular sourdough bread two to three, maybe three to four times a week. And I also make cinnamon raisin bread once a week. This loaf is just so, so good. I should have bought cream cheese when I did my grocery order yesterday because last time I made it, we didn't have cream cheese. And a couple of the kids were saying, I wish we had cream cheese. I've also been drinking my water all morning. Um, but once again, we don't have cream cheese, but I'll just slice this up, butter it, we'll put honey on it, and then of course have those scrambled eggs on the side. Twelve, doing a full dozen eggs here today. I am just cooking up the onions and asparagus in some butter. Time to slice up this loaf. The eggs are cooking. I also grated some cheese because who doesn't want some cheese on top of their scrambled eggs? The inside of this loaf. Someone's getting hungry. Are you hungry for lunch? And here's our lunch. I wish I had more asparagus because as the onions and asparagus were frying, I ate one little piece. So tasty, so good. Uh, there's just salt and pepper on the eggs, so that's it, nice and simple. Um, oranges, I just sliced up a couple oranges, and then here's the bread that we buttered and we'll serve honey with that too. And, oh, look at that, Sam, we're right on time, 12.01. Having a little, a little one in the house this week has pushed us to be eating on time. <laughs> Often we're eating at 12.30 or so, but uh, the little guy is really hungry for lunch. So that is a look at our lunch today. You? <laughs> well, you too. Are you really hungry too? Wesley's a little bit, he's a little bit sad because he found, Wesley, where did you find that butterfly? By the road? I think it's already dead. Okay, yeah, you know what? Because <laughs> the fact that you picked it up, I'm it thinking... It just didn't move ever. Really? Okay, yeah, so it was already dead. It wasn't you. I had heard that he picked up a butterfly, and then now the butterfly can't fly. Wesley heard it. So, he's a little bit sad about that. Wesley, you didn't do anything to it then. Because the fact that you picked up a butterfly, I was kind of, I wanted to get to the bottom of this story, but I figured if you picked up a butterfly, likely it was already dead. So if it was right beside the road, maybe it got run over or something. Mom, Do you think? What? It just, no, it just like this. <laughs> just like that? Just, just standing still? Not mm -hmm. moving at all? Yeah. So you didn't do anything to it, bud. You don't need to feel bad, okay? Yeah, did we not have vitamins this morning? Um, okay, well you go ask. Ask all the kids if they've had vitamins yet, and then give, okay. It's a little bit of a, a task, trying to get just all of the food moved from inside to outside. Not a big deal, but our kitchen is closer to the front door, not the back door. So I, I always get my kids to help me, just because it's like running from here, all the way, <laughs> this sounds so exaggerated, all the way to the back door. But it is just a lot of trips. All the cups from the kitchen to the back, all the plates, all the food and all that. Um, it's not just like an easy side door right beside the kitchen. Anyways, uh, you know what? Did anyone set plates yet, Elijah or Simeon? I think, okay. I think I should serve the eggs in here because I don't really feel like bringing that whole pan of eggs outside. You carry the oranges and the bread. 
I maybe should have gotten myself a dinner plate, not a lunch plate. Here's what I've got going on for my snack today. I have half a banana and half of an apple all chopped up in there. I am going to put a couple spoonfuls of Greek yogurt on top. New container here. And of course, the why does the wrapper not just come off nice and neatly in one piece? <laughs> this is just plain Greek yogurt not flavored, not sweetened. I don't want to give myself too much because you'll see here, it's a bit of a fancy snack and it quickly becomes too much. Um, this is the whipped cream that I took. There's my scoop from this morning for my smoothie. I'm gonna take about the same size scoop and put that here with my yogurt. Now, this is such a good treat. I love it. I will put whipped cream. I don't make it specifically for this, but if I have whipped cream, in my fridge. I will do fruit with cottage cheese and whipped cream, or I'll do yogurt and whipped cream. It's so yummy. It just makes your snack just a little bit more decadent. So I'm just gonna put you back down there. The last thing I'm gonna put on my snack is this granola. I made a nice big double batch of granola yesterday. This recipe I make quite often because it's just so good. So in this recipe, you've got your oats. Uh, I chop up almonds, coconut, um, salt, and cinnamon. I believe those are all my dry ingredients. And then for wet ingredients, I add honey, coconut oil, vanilla, and um, almond extract. I just bake it in the oven and it's so, so good. It's nice and crunchy. Um, I will definitely put the link to this recipe down below. Um, I hope you'll try it out because it's so good. The kids are outside and guess what? Some of the kids took an apple for a snack, some took an orange for a snack so that, what did I buy yesterday? I bought six pounds of apples yesterday. Now I have a half in my snack here too, but of those six pounds of apples, we have two left. I really need to buy more than that, more than that on one shopping trip. Usually what happens is I buy bananas and then I'll also buy apples and usually another fruit. So this week it was oranges. Waiting for some other fruits to be in season because I'd love to buy more. But what usually happens is the kids will eat a banana here or there, here and there, and then they'll mostly eat like the apples and whatever other fruit I buy because I'd say they like those better. But bananas, they're good and they're so cheap. Like they're just the most affordable fruit for sure. And my kids like them. They just pick other fruit first. So then once all the other fruit is gone, then they eat all the bananas, they do. And there's my snack. See, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and just like that, I have a full bowl. I am just warming up another coffee for myself there. And we've reached that time of year, the summer season, AKA the baseball season. And we have, I was gonna say we have two boys playing baseball. Incorrect, we have three boys <laughs> playing baseball this summer. So what that means for us, is that most evenings we need to be out of the house between 5 and 5 30 and so that makes dinner time tricky i am going to try to get dinner together tonight for 4 30. it's 10 minutes to 4 i don't know if that's going to happen if we end up eating and it's almost 5 that's okay we can quickly eat we can probably leave the house yeah 5 30 5 40 tonight but it does make it a little bit crazy. It makes my afternoon so short when I have to prep dinner early. And then of course, it's just kind of the rush of like, let's go, let's eat, we gotta get out the door. But that's, that's what we enjoy about the summertime. And uh, I'm gonna make a new recipe tonight. So this recipe is a ground beef and sweet potato skillet. It looks pretty simple, but it is gonna take a little bit of time for those sweet potatoes to cook. So I need to stop facing you guys and talking and I need to start dinner prep. Here I've got my beef and onions, cumin, chili powder, salt, pepper, little onion on the side there, and some garlic. So this just needs to cook all the way through. Sorry about the shaky camera. And I need to get started peeling and chopping sweet potatoes. 
I'm sure you can hear the beef sizzling away over there. And I am just like motoring here. <laughs> I kind of got started late and so it'll be fine, but I'm going to slice these sweet potatoes up nice and small so that they cook up fast. You guys are on my little tripod. I haven't taken out my big tall tripod all day. So you're not getting great angles right now of me getting dinner together. But the next thing I need to do here is get all my meat off of the pan. And then my sweet potatoes are going to go into the pan with water and diced tomatoes. What else? Some more spices. This recipe calls for a lot of spices. I'm definitely cutting down on those because, you know, I am very conscious of my little kids. <laughs> Apparently it should take about 20 minutes for the sweet potatoes to get soft in this pan, cooking it this method. So we'll see. All right, I've got my sweet potatoes, diced tomatoes, water, a few more spices, just like I did about half or a little under half actually what the recipe called for because there's already spices in the meat too. We'll see how this much spice tastes. I don't want to, I'd rather be on the light side than on the heavy side. So this just needs to come to a boil, needs to simmer for a little while and I'm supposed to cover it. So I typically for this cast iron skillet, I just put this wood cutting board on top and let those cook. Okay, the sweet potatoes are done. Let's just ask if they're oranges. <laughs> they're sweet potatoes. Um, and you know what? That was right about 20 minutes. So not bad, not bad. I'm gonna pour all that beef back in. Now I am just waiting on the cheese to melt for one minute and then it will be time to eat supper. And then we head out the door and I already got the kids all to grab sweaters, water bottles filled, um, snacks. Yes, snacks, that's the whole reason I'm talking about this. I just pulled this bag of sourdough blueberry muffins out of the freezer earlier this afternoon. So there's six in there for snack. I'm thinking that one muffin won't be enough. We'll probably bring, I don't know guys, something, probably something else for a snack. And then um, of course baseball bags and all that stuff, just part of the prep getting out the door. So, but we're about ready. So we'll serve supper and then we can head out. Still working on my coffee here. I did grab this out. I thought we could just use something a little bit more for snack tonight. I'll probably have something else later on when we get home. And don't wanna burn myself this time when I take that off. All right, there we go. That looks really, really good. I'm actually thinking we'll put sour cream That's with this. I think that yet. would. <laughs> don't you think so? I agree, it looks so good. All right, why don't you get out a tub of sour cream? Just got home, got straight into pajamas, but I wanted to update you on our dinner tonight. I know I showed you the whole process. I wanted to update you on how it was. It was delicious. I loved the flavors in it. I am so glad that I cut the spice in half because it was spicy enough, but unfortunately, and I guess not surprisingly, most of the kids weren't a fan. So some of the kids thought it was okay, and then some of the kids did not care for it at all. Which is so tricky. It's so tricky when Andrew and I like meals and the kids don't. Usually the older two kids have similar, like I call it their adult taste buds. I'm like, oh, you guys are getting your adult taste buds because they start to like the meals that Andrew and I do, even if the younger kids don't. But I forgot, Elijah's not a big fan of sweet potatoes, so didn't go over really great for him. Anyway, so I don't know if I'll make that one again. Maybe I'll adjust it, like maybe if I added more white potatoes instead of just sweet potatoes. Or I could like cook rice on the side just to give the other kids something more to eat. I never cook separate meals for the kids. I am, I am happy to make something I know my kids don't really like if they can have a small helping of it and then have something else on the side to fill up on, you know, they have options. 
but when it's the only like this is the the entire dish and they don't like it you know it's hard to justify making it anyways um yeah so that was dinner i do have leftovers so i'll have more of that later and i i probably will have a little snack a little bit later on so we just need to get kids to bed and then uh we'll see about a snack i just got myself a bowl of one of my favorite snacks these sweet and salty kettle corn popcorners i get this big bag from costco and they're so good. Nice, sweet, and salty snack to end my night.